Chenazem soil is also known as black soil. Chenazem is an important zinc agricultural soil that can produce higher crop yields than many other types of soil. The name Chenazem has its roots in the Russian language, meaning black ground or black earth. The root of the name is also related to the infamous nuclear power plant in Ukraine called Chernobyl. It means black stalk or black grass, and just another name for the mugwort plant. However, Chernobyl is in the very north of Ukraine, whereas the highest concentration of Chernozem in Ukraine are further south, just north of Crimea. This area of Chernozem soil is actually part of a much larger range of soil, starting in Croatia and passing through Bulgaria, Romania, eventually ending up in Russia. But the depth of Chernozem soil in Ukraine is far deeper than elsewhere. The Chenazem soil has a very high concentration of humus. This dark organic matter formed mainly from decaying plant material and some other organic matter. It means it makes an almost ideal growing material for farm crops like wheat and barley, as well as other crops like sunflowers, maize, and some vegetables, which can also be grown in the soil. Now the maize can sometimes suffer from a lack of water in those conditions. Since the soil naturally forms grassland, the soil may also be used for raising livestock, with slurry from the animals supplementing the rejuvenation of the soil. The soil may require additional phosphorus to achieve the maximum yield. Other elements like calcium, magnesium, potassium, ammonia, sulfur, iron, manganese, zinc, copper, are all present in substantial amounts, so even after a period of farming, the soil is still one of the most fertile in the world. The Chernozem soil contains very little matter other than the organic matter. It's part due to the climate conditions that create the Chernozem. The areas where the soil exists is a relatively low annual rainfall, meaning that the grasslands or steppes are the natural result. And so there isn't normally enough rainfall for larger plants like trees and bushes, though these may occur towards the edges of the area of Chernozem. In addition to this, there aren't many rivers carrying soil deposits from other areas to mix in with the Chernozem. The resulting soil then keeps a high level of nitrates locked within the structure of the soil. And when it does rain, the soil can also retain the moisture within the soil itself. So rather than the rainfall just running off the surface of the soil and carrying material with it, the water can penetrate quite deep into the soil layers. That water is then ready to be used by any crop actually planted in the soil. The soil then has a reservoir of water that can be accessed as long as the plants don't require too much. The plants will then flourish. Additionally, local climatic conditions are a fairly cold winter and a rather hot summer. It also means there's normally a period of rapid growth in the warm and slightly wetter late spring. This high level of humus means that the structure of the soil, such as the roots, can branch out easily, reaching deep into the soil. And it's this light, almost fluffy structure of the soil means that smaller animals burrowing the soil have easy access to oxygen, enabling them to reach much deeper into the soil than normal, again assisting with soil productivity. Properties of soil mean that if good farming techniques are used, like ensuring the soil isn't overwatered, along with the top soil being protected from being blown away by the wind or otherwise eroded, and the soil can maintain this high quality for future seasons. However, good farming techniques haven't always been used in Ukraine, and millions of tonnes of topsoil have already been lost to, in a rush to exploit the financial benefits of the soil. Now it is possible, especially after recent events in Ukraine, that short-term profits from exploitation of the soil may start to reduce the quality of the soil, and eventually, possibly creating another dust bowl type event, potentially with dire consequences for the world population as it relies more and more on food grown from the Chernozem soil.